Hi, I'm Jean-François Tanguay. Welcome to Trials and PIs. I'm here with uh, Dr. Didier uh, Carrier uh, from the uh, hospital Rangueil in Toulouse. So welcome with us today. Dr. Tanguay, uh, good morning. So tell us more about the background for this study. Uh, the background of this study is uh, to uh, imagine that uh, with a drug related stent, we have uh, the risk of uh, instant thrombosis. And the uh, instant uh, thrombosis uh, is due to the concept of drug related stent with the platform, the drug, but uh, also the polymer. Mm -hmm. And the polymer, uh, there are many, many polymers. And we, we imagine that uh, if we have a stent without polymer, a polymer-free drug related stent, we can imagine that uh, it's better for the long-term follow-up and particularly for the risk of instant thrombosis. Okay. So you deliver through a reservoir? Or? Yes, and the, the, the CREATE, which is uh, the new, a new stent, has uh, a reservoir and uh, it's an abluminal reservoir with also another feature which is a bio-inducer surface in uh, carbon. Mm -hmm. And uh, also probably the principal uh, feature of this stent is uh, an amphilemus formulation inside, inside the, the reservoir. And this amphilemus formulation is characterized by a uh, formulate serolimus and an organic acid. Mm. And this uh, new uh, excipient is able to modulate the drug elution from the reservoir towards the vessel wall. And consequently, uh, we can imagine that with this new uh, polymer-free drug routine stent, we can decrease the percentage of thrombosis at uh, short and medium and long-term follow-up. Okay, so tell us more about the result. This is quite exciting. Actually, uh, we have only uh, the clinical and angiographic results at six months follow-up. Okay. It is shows that uh, it's too early to uh, know exactly what uh, should be the future. But at six months follow-up, we have excellent results. Excellent results concerning uh, angiographic data mm -hmm. and also concerning clinical uh, data. Okay. For example, uh, concerning angiographic data, uh, we have uh, an instant light luminosity of 0 0.14 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Uh, versus the comparator, uh, which uh, was a Taxus Liberté, and the comparator has a 0 0.34 millimeter. Mm -hmm. And consequently, uh, we conclude on this study that CREATE is superior to Taxus Liberté concerning the primary endpoint, which is uh, instant light to mm -hmm. And uh, it is a it, it's very important because uh, it's a new generation, the first in man. And uh, consequently, uh, with excellent res angiographic results. And the second point is a clinical uh, point with six month follow up. And actually, we have no uh, definite or probable stent thrombosis okay. at, How many at six patients? months. Uh, 160 uh, per group. Uh, it shows that it's a small population yes. uh, in, compa in comparison with uh, big registries. But, but very promising. But very promising for the first in man uh, trial. Okay. And so, what are the clinical implications in the next uh, minute or so? We, we can, we can uh, imagine that uh, the implications uh, will be uh, very, very, very important and interesting for the population for uh, uh, three points. The first point is that uh, concerning the instant restenosis. We have excellent results, and we can imagine that uh, it's a stent uh, which uh, can be compared to uh, Xyans uh, or the best uh, drug related stent uh, in the market, mm -hmm. the first, first point. The second point uh, concerning instant thrombosis, you can imagine that uh, in the future we can decrease the rate of stent thrombosis. Because you know that with drug related stent, we have 0.7% uh, of instant thrombosis every year mm -hmm. due to the concept of the drug related stent, due to the concept of the polymer, etc. And uh, with, a s with a polymer free drug related stent, like CREATE, we can imagine that we can or we could decrease the percentage of instant thrombosis. Okay. 
and uh, the third point, which was not uh, in the presentation, but probably which is very, very promising, is the diabetic population. Because you know that uh, in the diabetic population, you increase the risk of instant prostenosis, instant thrombosis. And uh, the first results in the next trial with CREATE uh, are very, very promi promising because uh, we have a subgroup, which is very small, but a subgroup of diabetic population, about uh, f 30 or 35 patients per, per group. And uh, the instant late to menos is 0 0.12 millimeters versus 0 0.43 uh, concerning the Taxus uh, Liberté group and uh, without thrombosis, uh, actually. Thank you very much. This is a very promising platform. So again, we were discussing the CREATE platform, a polymer-free uh, uh, new drug looting stand at EuroPCR 2011.